welcome back if you've stuck around for a while and welcome if you are new. Um, I'm Sammy, I run a small business called Peach and Mimi. I make pins, washi tape, stickers, mouth mats, mugs, lots of stuff. Um, yeah, so today is Wednesday the 2nd of March. Uh, yesterday was Peachy Mimi's first birthday um, and I didn't pick up the camera. <laughs> um, I had a lot going on yesterday. I wanted to get the, um, because it was the 1st of March as well, I sent the newsletter out, hopefully on, around the 1st of the month. Um, so I needed to get that done. Um, I needed to just finish off my social media posts. Um, I had listings to go live um, and my Kickstarter was ending so I had to promote that too. So I gave myself quite a bit to do and I left it all to last minute. Um, yeah, so I didn't pick up the camera because I was <laughs> I was very busy. Um, but yes, today um, I'm only, I've only come into the office for half a day today. Um, to get some orders packed and stuff and then I'm going home to my doggies um and to do some admin bits for um for Kickstarter I need to create a spreadsheet love the spreadsheet um but I need to create a spreadsheet to see all the pin choices um so I know how many of each pin and wash tape I need to order um yeah, I need to do that. I also need to send a survey out how I did the Kickstarter this time. Um, excuse you. Um, how I did the Kickstarter this time was I you pledged for the postage. Uh, that was your tier that you chose. And then you added everything on. So I already, without doing a survey, um, people have already chose what they want. So I can easily tell that I haven't got to wait for surveys to come in. Um, I need to do an update on Kickstarter as well because there's a couple of failed payments at the minute which there always is with Kickstarter, so there always has a couple but it gives you, I need to google it, it gives you a set amount of time and they remind you every 48 hours I think, I think it's a week, it gives you a week to correct your payment and then it becomes a failed payment. Um, so I need to just do an update for people just to check that in case um, the emails from Kickstarter are going to spam. Um, yeah, so I'll do all that this afternoon, but this morning I've just done, um, I just had two orders on Etsy. Um, so I've just done those. I've got a mouse mat to do, and I've also got just one other order on my website to do. Um, yeah, I need to also do some, um, take some more photos of uh, the, the, the new pin. It, it will have been already in before this bit because my new pin arrived last week and I've graded them, sent them all out to the pre-orders but I just want to take some more photos so I've got some more, a better range of photos for um, social media posts and for um, on the listings as well so hang on a sec, I'll go fetch a pin and show you So this is the new pin, oh it's, it's so shiny, it's hard to, yeah this is the new pin, it's come, it's me, my, me, <laughs> it's my Arabian Palace pin, um, inspired by Jasmine's castle, Jasmine's palace in, in Aladdin, so I don't know if you can see all the details, I don't know if it's going to focus, but um, yeah, there's screen printing details on all of the rocks and there's also screen printing detail, I don't know if you can see. What do the beauty people do when they're showing you stuff? Cover the face. <laughs> there's, oh, yeah. There's also some screen printing here, but it's super shiny. I'm so happy with how they've turned out. Yeah, I want to take some more photos of these. Um... So let's get on with it, shall we?
I didn't tidy up yesterday so I like um, I'm regretting it now. <laughs> um, yeah, I just left stuff everywhere. Just not ideal. So one of my sister's friends has requested this custom mouse mat. Um, I was going to do a demogorgon mouse mat anyway, just reverse it a minute. So I've printed this out on sublimation pa paper. Um, so you flip the image because when you put it on the mouse mat, it flips the other way. Um, yeah, but I did one yesterday um, as a test when I put it. Yeah, I did one as a test yesterday, but the colours were a bit off. It looks better cool. It looks better cool on camera than it does in real life. Um, yeah, there's a couple of ink splodges and stuff as well. So I just need to check that on here. But um, yeah, it's just a bit too. It's like a little bit washed out the detail. So I've edited it a bit. Um, adjusted the it always looks different on this anyway I don't know if that's showing the right way around to you um but yeah it's flipped the wrong way yeah so I need to put that on here I put my put my quick easy press bring it over put my quick easy press there and uh, that's heating up at the moment need to get this ready so I've got the sublimation print and then you tape it to the mouse mat with some heat resistant tape so that there's no smudges and then the easy press um, will be when it gets up to temperature. I think it's about 185. I've set it to. And a bit of tape to tape the complainers. Um, and then I've got these silicon. I've got my heat mat. Um, and then these silicon uh, just to protect the heat mat because um, I don't know if you can see. But when the first ones I did, I didn't put the silicon down and the overlap. Um, transfer the ink to this. So we'll put the silicon down just to protect that because they're heat resistant as well and then we'll put it mouse mat down with the print on top. So smooth. We'll put another silicon on the top of that and it's just beeped. And then The, I don't know if you can see, you press the green button and then start the timer. I have got heat gloves, but I don't use them for the mouse mat. I use them mainly when I do. Um, oh, that's better. It's got wires there. Um, yeah, that's much better. Can you see? So I think I've sorted the colour. Oh, it's hot now. <laughs> sorted the colour. It's just, I don't know if you can see. Up the top. I don't think, I don't know if you can see. There's just some little red lines there um, that I didn't notice on the print before. So I'll need to, to print that again, which is annoying, but yeah, I like the colours are a lot better. It's very yellow on this. Can you see the difference? Yeah, I prefer this one. It's hard to know because when you do a lighter colour, because of the thick rubber on the back, that shows through a little bit through the um, white 
polyester top on the Mars mats so it doesn't always come up the colour, print the colour that you think it's like, it makes it like a dirty colour sometimes so I, that, I think that I'm really happy with that. Yeah so the colours are fine I just need to give my printer a clean I think to get rid of the smudgy bits. So they can go as seconds. I have quite a few seconds um, mouse marks from, can you see that? Put my little seconds box down here. There is a second sale on my website at the moment. So there's all of these in there. So I had a bit of a nightmare doing the Encanto ones. You can't really see it. There's not hardly anything wrong. It's just at the very edge. Um, I don't know if you can see with the plastic on. Um, the very edge. It's just got a red little white bit. I think that's all that's up with that one. Um, but yeah, I've got quite a few of the encounter ones. Which I think it's yeah, I've got a lot of them. <laughs> that's one of my favourite ones. And then the other ones are all. I think they're all from when I was my practice ones. So I don't know if they actually. Oh yeah, this one's a second. Um, I don't know what's wrong with this one. I don't think there's anything actually wrong with this one. Um, it was just when I was printing it to uh, take a photo. And this one, I don't know if you can see. I should really take it out of the plastic. I'm going to move this light away. You see, that's all that's wrong with this one is it's just, it's got a tiny bit of brown there and then it gives a tiny bit of blue in the castle. Um, yeah, this is a test one. And these these were test one. Is there anything wrong with this one? This was test I did like a white board around the Alassia wax and then did it without to see which one I preferred. And the same with these striker ones. This one's got the white round, this one hasn't. I think I decided on the white round. And then what's wrong with this? Oh this one's the this one has just got a little tiny. Do you see? A little tiny ink smudge. Oh one there. It's a little one there and a little one there. Um, yeah but there's not when I say seconds to like there's not an awful lot wrong with them. They can go in there. And I've also got some mugs that are seconds, so these were like the test print. So I've got the sunflower mug, um, and then it's got just a little bit of fading at the bottom there by the handle on both sides. Um got two sunflower ones, daisy one, princess petal one. I think this is my favourite mug. I don't know. I haven't actually taken a photo of these with the red, but I, I love them with the red handle and the red inner. But this is a, one of the jelly bean ones. Um, yeah, I think the only thing that's really up there's just the odd little bit that we've got ink on. I don't know if you can even see, they are like the tiniest bit. If you didn't know they were there, that one you might notice the little tiny bit. but. And they're, they're reduced just because they're not they're not perfect, but yeah. Yeah, I'm going to add the seconds um, onto Etsy as well because um, they've been on my website for a couple of weeks now and I've still got the stock left, so I'm going to add them to Etsy as well for more of the general public, <laughs> um, more of the general public too. Have the option to get because um i bring most of my traffic i don't know if this is high enough i'll look down i bring most of my traffic to to my website most most of it comes through me through instagram and um, whereas etsy is obviously the search engines um, and stuff on etsy and uh, unfortunately i have to put me price is a little bit higher on Etsy because the fees are a lot higher than on my website so 
um, yeah, you'll always get a little bit cheaper if you shop direct on my website. But yeah, it's just those damn Etsy bees. <laughs> just googled it um, and although the novel check print out there's no no when it prints the lines uh, there's no lines missing but it's still you can't see very well sublim sublimation is like faded until it's heated but you see I don't know if you can see there's a very faint red line across and there's a line all the way across there as well so I'm hoping um I'm hoping that this fix it fixes it because if not I'll have to do some more googling um yeah so I think it's cross this works because I don't want to keep I had to really look closely to spot it um yeah, and it's more obvious when it's on a mouse mat, but I don't want to keep printing onto mouse mats and mugs and stuff and then spotting it because it's obviously wasting. Um, wasting those, which is frustrating. Hello, it's now Friday the... What day does it Fourth? Is it the fourth? I think it's the fourth um, of March. Um, I've got. Don't let me <laughs> I've got a few. <laughs> I've got a few orders to pack um, today. Um, a couple of a couple of nights here. I think I've only got one on my website. Um, so we'll get on with those. And we need to. Um, we me. Um, I need to. Um, try that mouse mat now see if that printer ooh, <laughs> printer is behaving um so yeah i'll get on with that I think I found the problem after all that power cleaning and everything. I don't think it's the problem. Can you see? The spring isn't meant to be down there because in the other side it's up here. So I don't think it's meant to be down there. I think that's come out and I think it's that that's making the line. It's like as the print's coming through, it's getting ink on it and then like they're rubbing against the paper. Ugh. Let me see if I can fix that. I think I've done it. 
don't know if you can see it's back up oh I hope that's it To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Something about you And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared And lied to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better 
Me and that printer are going to fall out in a minute. <laughs> it, it works fine on another one. I've done a, let me show you. I've done this. It looks really faded because it's got sublimation, but um, yeah, I've done the daisy one. It's absolutely fine. So just doesn't want to play ball on that. Um, the demo Vulcan one for some reason. Um, it's like I don't know if there's too much ink and it's not absorbing. So it's like dragging it across. Um, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos and I've amended my print settings just for that one to see if that works. It's just printing at the minute so fingers crossed that that works now. Um, but yeah I'm going to wrap it up here. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> I'm going to uh, wrap this up here. If I do film anything else I will add it before this. Um, anyway but I normally forget to end vlogs, so I'm ending the vlog here. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you could like and subscribe, and um, it really does help my channel grow. And I would love to get to 100 subscribers. That's my goal for this year. I think we're currently on like 68, 69, something like that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you. <laughs> He's jumped on because he's cold. Um, see you next week. Bye.